get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. This way. That's a better shot. You talk to me here. Yeah? Testing one, two, three, me. This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with uh, Macklin's Jim Marbella. The final press conference here for Golovkin versus Brook live on Sky Sports box <laughs> office. <laughs> you laughing? You've got behavioural problems, you. Yeah. You're like a little child getting. You awesome. wish I worked for Sky. Haven't you? <laughs> yeah. you wish, didn't it? You'd be right. You'd have a bit of colour. What? With your personality. Where are you going with that? <laughs> Two days away. What are you thinking now? I'm thinking Kel is unbelievably relaxed. He was in Covent Garden around central London yesterday like a tourist, uh, having a laugh with his mates, having a giggle. Uh, and you thought, you know what? I thought, I like that. He's happy, he's happy. He'd have never done that before because he's now... He doesn't, have to, he doesn't have to be ratty because he's struggling to make weight. He doesn't have to, to worry about that side of it. He's a happy fighter. A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. Um, I think he'll box to the best of his ability. I think this will be keynote kill uh, come, come Saturday night. If it's enough, that's the question. But I do believe Kel uh, will go in there and give it his all. And, um, and is his all good enough? I think it is. He's uh, got to be spot on. If you weren't from Sheffield, and you weren't an Ingle fighter, yeah. or ex Ingle fighter, would your opinion be the same? Because I've, I've just noticed this, obviously, and they're going to, everyone, Sheffield, okay. Ingle, yeah. obviously going to back Brook, understandable. No, 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 in truth, I think Sheffield in, and England want to back Brook. They look at Glock and they think, I hope Brook wins, but I don't think he's going to win. Anybody that comes to you after this fight say, I knew he'd win, I told you, they're lying. They hope he'd win, they wish he would. They're not thinking he'll pull it off. And that's the honest truth. Be up front, be straight with people. I'm saying this about Golovkin because even before Kel boxed Golovkin, I rate him, I rate his punch power or anything, but I don't look at his boxing ability and think, wow, this guy's unbelievable, he's like Sugar Ray Leonard. I think he can be outboxed. You push his man on, his, on the back foot and, and you're, you're cute and smart enough to be able to outbox him, outfox him, you'll deal with him. This was the same with Julian Jackson. Everybody looked at Julian Jackson and thought, how can you beat this man? Mike McCallum came along, figured it out, figured that style out to block and pop the shots and dealt with it. So, so Golovkin can be beaten. But it's, some, it's finding that someone that can be in that. Find that someone that's got that blueprint to make him punch off the back foot. Have you seen him knock anybody out going backwards? He goes forward, you have to sit that front foot and swing the shots in. So it's not an impossible task. So no, I wouldn't just say this because it's Kel. I'm saying Kel has a slim chance. I'm not saying Kel wins. I'm saying he has a slim chance. It's possible. I'm not going to say he has no chance. I'm saying he has a slim chance. Does that? <laughs> Does that? Oh, fuck you. Oh, sorry. Um, does the best Golovkin beat the best Kell Brook? <clears throat> yeah. But mistakes can happen. And I personally think Golovkin is looking at Kell Brook thinking he's a world to eight and he won't give him the, the, the respect he's, he's due because we, when he was in Big Bear training, he forgot he had his microphone and he was on the other side of the gym. We started to do his trainer saying, I give this one round. I saw I hit him on the, on the chin. You know, this fight's over. He didn't say it like that, but that's kind of what he said. So even though he's being polite uh, uh, and, and being respectful because he's here on, on Kel's own turf, trust me, he thinks it's a fight is easier than what uh, than what he makes out. And that's why I think it just takes somebody to make a mistake. I think it was Tony Belly on, on Sky yesterday, or he tweeted, he said that uh, Brook taking on Golovkin is the biggest task any Brit has had to do sort of with a yeah, overseas without, fire. Yeah. What, more so than Hatton taking on Mayweather? Uh, Bruno taking yeah, on Tyson? That's a good one. Bruno Tyson. I'll put it this way Hatton and Mayweather were the same way. Bruno Tyson were the same way. Kel Brook has jumped up to put on a stone to fight a guy that dominated the division where nobody wants to fight him. So, yeah, in reality, yeah, I'd say yeah. 
because who has done that? Who's, who's, who's saying, yeah, I'm going in with a guy that guys of his own weight won't, don't want to fight, and I'm going to try and put on a stone to fight this guy. I'm unbeaten. And the world champion. So, yeah, like it or not, that's actually it's totally spot on. I just stumped you then, didn't I? No, you didn't. I was just like, ask you the question, brother. <laughs> ask me the question. Um, <clears throat> is this a... Uh, some people have said this is kind of a, not a no-lose situation for Kell Brook, but if he isn't to be successful, drops back down to welterweight, keeps his belt, I you don't think he will. will? I don't think he will. I, I, I've always been surprised he's made welterweight. Yeah. Always been surprised he's made welterweight. And people think because he, he's got to middleweight, he, he, he's not going to be stronger. Kell's more of a middleweight, strong light middleweight, than he is a welterweight. I've always been surprised. I think, how the hell do you do it, man? So, so, so don't be thinking Kell's saying, you know, I'm all right, I'm still... Well, to wait, then go my dad to work, right? He's all right. What are you, Clifton, what are you doing, bro? Take your coffee and your cookies and move yourself, bro. <laughs> move yourself. <laughs> because you've got both hands full. <laughs> I'm looking at the drone. I'm looking yeah, at the drone. They can hear you. They can hear you. <laughs> Johnny, in shock terms, yeah. bigger shock than you, than, I don't know, say over the last few years, even. Fury beating Klitschko and yeah. it's, if this Listen, was to happen. Without a doubt, because everybody around the world has thought, what the hell is Calvert doing? The world welterweight champion, unbeaten, and you're stepping up to put that line against this guy. All the Americans have come out here, they're sitting there thinking, everybody's going to just, you know, Golovkin's going to just do the job. You know, they're hoping to come over here and see a, a demolition job. In their mind, they're thinking, is Kel Brook seeing something we haven't? Is he going to achieve something we, we just can't see or envisage? Uh, so to me it's going to be a massive shot and Kel will not get the credit he deserves if he beats Golovkin why? because people will say just like the same with Tyson Fury was it a fluke you know Tyson Fury is now going to box Klitschko again to prove it wasn't a fluke I'm actually better than him and that's what Kel after to do people think you know Golovkin slipped or Golovkin did this or whatever you know it was a bit of luck it was a struggle he will not get the credit for this fight he deserves. He'll get the, the accolade. People say Kelbrook pulled it off, but people think now nah, it's a bit of luck. You know, he's just he's just Golovkin's bogey man. If he does manage to pull it off. All right, well, Johnny, listen. Thanks for giving us a little bit of your uh, undivided attention. And uh, I like how you're putting on Clifton Mitchell there. He could have swatted you like a fly. He had his boys around him. You just turned dark on him. You were like, eh, eh. So I roll. Yeah, you were. Know, that's you just mob deep. <laughs> Johnny, thanks for talking to IFL TV. I'm not going to slap you. People keep saying, why do you keep slapping Johnny Nelson? It's, it's an endearing thing, isn't it? Do you reckon you could take one? Do you reckon you could take one? On I'll take your teeth out. Would Don't you? do that, brother. I'll take your teeth out. <laughs> Johnny, thanks for talking to IFL TV. No and uh, we'll catch up with you again. Why are you fingering my hand? You oh, dirty. That's disgusting. That's you are disgusting. Man.